going on folks? Tonight I'm reviewing one of my favorite hazy IPAs in an Austin, Texas brewing classic, the Electric Jellyfish Hazy IPA from Pint House Pizza. Now Pint House Pizza, despite that name, uh, well I guess if you think about it, don't get distracted by the pizza, focus more on the Pint House. I have not had their pizza. If it's anything like their beer, it's probably really freaking good. And I'm embarrassed to say I've never even been there in person to Pint House. So I know where they are. Maybe the next outing uh, will be to go to Pint House. If you follow my Instagram, you would have seen me and my girlfriend Becca uh, trying some beers on tap at Fourth Tap Brewery. That was just a week ago or a few days ago, really. And we had a great time and the beer tasted so good. So go support your local brewery in person if you're able to. I cannot wait to make my trip over to Pint House Pizza in Austin, Texas to try this on tap. Now, I've had electric jellyfish several times in the past. It is kind of, um, uh, a, uh, I don't know what the word is. I was going to say famous, and I just don't know if that's true. But again, my girlfriend Becca used to work in uh, around a lot of, like in a coffee shop where there's uh, also beer on tap and stuff. And she said that whenever they ran out of pi uh, out of electric jellyfish, people would be like, oh man, like where is it? Where is it? Like, why don't you have it? Uh, so that's what first got my attention because I saw then I saw the design actually first first I saw the design first I saw the design let me be clear saw this in in the store probably Central Market beautiful just utterly lusciously beautiful and hey go again go check out my Instagram I'm gonna be putting some pictures of this up uh, with my one of my favorite electric guitars uh, psychedelic uh, Paisley kind of Jimi Hendrix style electric guitar I thought it was just too perfect reminds me of this electric jellyfish design and um, so, so, and then, and then when I saw the can, I thought it looked cool, but I, at that point I didn't really want like a 16 ounce four pack. It was just too much in case I didn't like it. Plus the beer was kind of expensive. I mean, especially for a brewed locally beer, I will say this is a, a, a more premium price bracket, but I'll tell you from the beginning, it's worth it. Cause I got it on the recommendation of, of Rebecca telling me that other people constantly asked for it. I'm so glad I did. I loved it right away. It's a great hazy IPA. For what it's worth, Beer Advocate has it at a 94 right now, 4.27 out of 5 rating. Um, so, so very, very much a beloved, I would say, hazy IPA. And one of the problems I've addressed with hazy IPAs is that they all can kind of taste the same. And this one has something good, special about it, something special about it. So uh, just a few more details. Let's see. This was canned, uh, pedal, what does that say? Pedal faster or something? Uh, manimal? What? Uh, I, I don't even know what to make of this. I wasn't expecting... Uh, you're not going to be able to see it. There's some weird hieroglyphics on the bottom, but it looks like October 21st, which is less than a month ago, assuming that's the canned buy and not a best buy, uh, best buy date. Anyway, this can cost me oh, four and a half bucks as a, as a single, so you can imagine that it's, it's considered in the premium bracket. ABV is... I might have to look uh, elsewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, 6.5%. Uh, so right in that mid range, and um, so so, Pine House seems to really like their hops. They were kind of explicit about being into the into hops, and I can relate to that. So I'm reading a few details here. Brewed with some of our favorite new hop varieties from from our favorite hop farmers: Citra, Simcoe, Chinook, Yukonut, Azaka, and Galaxy. Six hops, and let's be real, a lot of those are pretty weird. I mean, Citra we see everywhere. Simcoe not that far off the beaten path. Chinook, Chinook is often uh, not the most common. I think there's a couple other styles that start with C uh, that taste similar, and so Chinook is not seen quite as often as those others. It's not like it's rare. You cannot. I've only seen that a few times. The Zaka hops, I've only seen a few times. And Galaxy, it's weird, but maybe it's just the name, the branding, but I associate Galaxy hops with, like, spacey, strange, uh, and interesting IPAs. So that's probably just my head making that up, but... Anyway, I think I should crack this open and give it a try. Uh, after I crack it and pour it, I'm going to get a couple pictures, pause the video, and I'll be right back. Anything else to say? No, I'm just looking forward to this uh, psychedelic and delicious uh, Austin brewed hazy IPA that I am thirsty. Whoa, that's splattered. Oh, God, it's fizzing up, fizzing up. Look at that. So I'm going to pause the camera, go get some photos. Be right back. I was only gone for a moment. You can see the head is dropped down a little from where it was, but still nice and kind of frothy. Mmm, it just smells so good. It just smells like a really full, well-done hazy IPA. It's everything you want to smell in a hazy. And then even that little bit more of just something interesting. Isn't that the thing about hazy IPAs is you never quite know what you're going to get? I mean, 
that was kind of what, what opened up the whole style, I feel like, what everyone liked about it. We kind of, many people started getting a little sick of it because a lot of them just ended up being, tasting like pineapple juice or orange juice, really. This smells like hops, like interesting hops. Mmm. Ooh. It is tropical, hazy IPA, trop, but it's not, it's not only, it's not one note. There's the bready, mmm. It's so easy to just chug this down. 6.5%, you'll definitely feel it too, but it's just, there's no alcohol taste. And that, that head is just almost like a frothy foam it comes in with every sip right now. It's so nice. And yeah, it's every bit as good as I remember. I think this has got to be my favorite hazy IPA. I think it is. I've tried a ton, dozens and dozens, and I'm just so happy to say that I think my favorite hazy IPA is brewed in Austin. Makes me so proud uh, that my my hometown has this kind of quality beer. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ramble too long. If you're able to get your hands on electric jellyfish and haven't had it, and you're into IPAs, you're into hazy IPAs. What are you waiting for? This is just oh man, the bitterness is kind of starting to build up too. It's not up front. I think a lot of the hazy IPAs, they just are sweet and fruity. And then you're like, where's the bitterness that I want? Uh, and this is just comes up after everything. And, and, and It's balanced. It's, it's interesting. It's complex. It's... This sounds so nerdy, but it's somehow both sophisticated and playful, right? It's like fun to drink, but it's not like... I don't know. It's not. A, it's this is a real beer. It's a real good, complex, delicious ale. So go get yourself electric jellyfish from Pine House uh, Pizza. And uh, if you can't get your hands on another hazy IPA, let me know in the comments what you're drinking, what you think of it, thoughts on your favorite hazy IPAs, thoughts on other. I've never had anything else by Pint House yet, and like I said, I need to go in person. So leave me a comment, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, leave me a like. It helps me so much. Just figure out what I should be doing more of. Uh, and, and I love talking to people who like this kind of stuff. I'd love to love to hear from you. Uh, and go find me on Instagram, at, uh, at Craft Christian Reviews, I think is what it is. I should probably know what it is, but go find me there because I do a lot of content that kind of blends with what I'm doing here, but it's not, it's not the same. There's different stuff, okay? I'll see you in the next review. Hope you enjoy what you're drinking, and I will talk to you soon. Peace out. Have a good night.